welcome back to my YouTube channel, aka Alexis in Life. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at some Rainbow Loom books. And I got all of these books off of Amazon. So these, um, they will be linked in my Amazon storefront if you want to check them out after watching this video. So if you do enjoy my types of videos, please give me a like, comment below, subscribe. Be sure to follow my TikTok and Instagram. Be sure to check out my Etsy shop and be sure to check out my Amazon storefront as well. Anyway, let's get right into this video. So the first book that um, I got is called Loom Magic Creatures, 25 Awesome Animals and Mythical Beings for a Rainbow of Critters. This book um, is by Becky Thomas and Monica Sweeney. I can't remember the prices of these books. Um, I'm pretty sure they ranged from like 7 to $14 on Amazon. But, um, and this is the back of the book. I feel like the designs in these books are going to be a little too simple, but we'll see. The next book that I've got is called Loom Bandit. 60 rubber band projects for the budding lumineer. This is by Kat Roberts and Tessa Sillers Powell. And then here is the back of the book. And then the last book I have is called Rubber Band Jewelry Making Bracelet bracelets with an S, belt, belts, rings, and more with rainbow loom, crazy loom, or fun loom. So this one includes the other brands of looms as well. And um, here's the back of the book. Um, this book is by Colleen Dorsey. It's in the corner. That's, that's why I, I couldn't find it. <laughs> it wasn't up here where normal authors are um so yeah basically um we're gonna i'm gonna show you like the inside of all three books and then i'm probably gonna make like a design or two from them following the instructions so i guess we could i guess that we could call this a, a book review but we're gonna take a look at all three books Gonna make a design or two from them and then um we will convene back together to see if rainbow moon books are still worth buying in 2023 so here are all three books on my table uh the first book we will be taking a look at is loom bandit so let me put these other two aside for now and we can take a look at it and um, evaluate it. Sorry, it's, it's gonna be like kind of on an angle cause it's gonna glare with my ring light. I was gonna say this is hard covered, but it, it's not. I really like, I like the cover of this book. I like that it has like bracelets and creations all over it. I think that is super cute. Bend in it, I haven't, I don't know, I have this random hook over here. So, this is, what, this is what it looks like. Loom band it. All right, here's the content. Um, I don't know why my table is shaking so much, but let me, um, Move a little closer so you can try and um, actually read this. So, um, for the contents, it has 
introduction, getting to know your loom, um, the bunch of sub like mini topics, project selector, brilliant bracelets, rings with bling, funky accessories, lucky charms, holiday fun, and resources. So, uh, yeah, this is basically um, just telling you basics on how to loom. And this is still, still like the basics, still the intro. Oh, guys, I love this. I love that there's photos. So this is the project selector. There is 60 projects. Since it is close, um, and I know it's I know it's like only September, but it is sort of it's kind of close to spooky season. So for this book, I am going to make the cute little Halloween spider. I think that'll be super cute. And it's page 120. Um, I will flip through some of the pages, probably not, I probably shouldn't flip through all of them because I feel like when, you, when people buy a book, like you don't want to spoil the entire book, right? Oh yeah. So this, they're going to be like all of our, um, bracelet, our bracelet chapters. It's quite a few. Um, let me see. Okay, yeah, there's a lot of bracelets on here. Yeah, there's at least um, 20 bracelets in here. All of these are bracelets. And now um, we are at rings. I feel like rings with looms. Oh, wait a minute. Their pages are kind of color coordinated, so... So all of these are rings. And we got um the pink is funky accessories. And um the green is lucky charms, which I like the name she picked. And now we're at Holiday Fun, which is the last chapter in the book. And we want to make the um, spider. And I really got to crinkle it so it stays like down because I need my hands actually that works um, let me just move us slightly up I had to t I tucked it under underneath um, my drawers so I'm gonna cut here because this is like a really long clip but we're gonna start the spider when I come back so I got my rainbow loom and I got my purple bands. Um, so basically, we're just testing like the instructions, you know, for the book. So was teaching me how to make the spider's legs. Let me take a look. Place the loom with the arrows facing away from you. Bands 1 to 11 will have to be placed a total of 8 times to create your spider's legs. So we need 8 legs for the spider. Topper bands 11 and 38 are wrapped 4 times around the peg. Thread band 35 through two beads before stretching between the pegs. 
Whew, guys. That was a little hard to comprehend in my head, but I see that they have like this photo over here and it's all of the pegs and stuff. They're like numbered. So I don't like how they don't have like photos for everything though. So it looks like um placing some bands on our loom. And obviously, um, for time's sake, of course, this video, I feel like it's going to be a little long one if I do a design from every book. So now we've got, I think it's actually one more according to their photo counting the pegs one two three four five six one two three four five six okay now we have this turn the loom so the arrow is facing down toward you um we had to put our capping band on first once it um wrapped four times around the peg so one two three that is four i'm pretty sure that's four and it says put your hook in the first right hand peg push back the cap band hook the top pair of bands and loop forward so that is what we shall do although i just broke a band so hold on y'all seen that right <laughs> okay oh my god the band that broke wasn't even a band that i thought one of i thought the capping band broke but apparently not apparently that band did not want to live to be a spider so put two more bands on just to replace that and we'll wrap our bands around again. Now let's try this again. One. Oh my guys! I can't right now. It keeps breaking. Stop. Um. I don't know. It's said to wrap this around four times, but it doesn't it doesn't seem to be working in my opinion. So I'm only gonna wrap it around three times. One, two, three. Maybe that'll be better. I don't know why. Like, if I was a kid and my bands were breaking, I would already be frustrated and throw this book out. <laughs> okay. And that says, continue to loop forward the next four pairs of bands in a row, always going inside the cap band to loop them. Put your hook in the last peg and pull the chain off the loom. So here is my first leg. I'm going to go off camera and create the other seven just for time's sake because I feel like this video is already going to be long. So yeah. So now we have to lay our bands for the spider using this image. Um, I kind of wish there was a better photo, but I feel like that is all... That we're gonna be getting so it's gonna follow the picture and lay my bands per the photo um of course I have loomed before so it's not it's not going to be confusing because I have made um many things on the loom but this 
might be confusing for someone who is just starting out. I could definitely see it, although it does explain it in words. But, you know, I feel like kids don't read words. They, they just want to, like, jump into the activity, you know, so... I mean, like, let's just see how the design looks. I don't want to judge it. Um, I don't want to judge it before. Okay, so. Um, I did the eyes wrong. The eyes are supposed to go just on one band. I forget. That loom designs be like that. So. Asha. And um, it looks like the eyes are going over here. This way. It doesn't tell you um, what size the beads you should use. Um, and it, it doesn't really tell me. I don't really see anything about the triangle bands. And then there's like a weird like twisted band. I'm not. I don't, I don't know how to get that look. Like, did they tuck it behind that? But it doesn't really look like that, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep that out of there. Okay, um, so now we have to place, um, the weights on the hut, I mean, not hut, on the loom. So, grab some of our weights. It looks like, um, it's getting two in the front, and then the rest just go, oh, two in the back, actually, I should say, not the front. It's getting two here, and then the rest. Just get one. But yeah, this is what he looks like so far. What do you guys think? Is he cute? I think he's cute. I don't know if it's a purple I use. It's really pretty. It's, it's like the neon purple from um the neon boxes. Okay. What else do we got? Um, It actually looks like um, they used the green as the cap band, but that doesn't that doesn't make any sense to me because it shows it shows it as a laid. Okay. Okay, so because we only needed two, I'm so confused. I don't know. So I'm gonna I'm gonna grab like two more green bands, I guess, because it looks like the green bands, but then it shows. So I don't know. So now it looks like um, we are just going to loop this like normal. You're going to turn your loom, the arrows facing um, towards you. And let's hope our spider lives to tell the story, right guys? But no, for real, I haven't used a loom literally in for. Oh, I grabbed something I shouldn't have. I haven't used a loom in like literally forever. I need to start making happy foods again. Because I like um, the loom. It's just, I feel like loom stuff takes longer depending. Depending on what you're making, of course. Oh, you're going to want to be careful with the one with the double legs. There was a lot of band tension. And I went to grab the bottom band. Okay, and then this green is um the tie off bands. So you're gonna want to tie those tight tightly. So here's our looped Spidey. Super cute. Um, I guess I can just pull it off the loom now. I'll shut up because it'll be like satisfying.
yeah so here is um our finished spider is there another page for the spider no the spider only has a few pages he's actually really cute like i think he's really cute um the instructions were as i said they were a little confusing because it only it only shows you like where you need to lay the bands it doesn't um exactly tell you what to do but um oh my god guys i did i actually did it wrong he's supposed to have um two legs up front not two legs in the like the two the double but I don't think it makes a difference. Spiders, all spiders' legs are different. So now we are going to be moving on to the next book. So now we are going to be taking a look at Loom Magic Creatures. Break that spine. I always like that new book smell. <laughs> I, I had to sniff it. Loom Magic Creatures. All right, here's a table of content. Contents. Let me um zoom in so you can read. Um. Well, first of all, I liked the photos of the creations better. Um, because I would I have to flip through every page now to see what these all look like which i i mean i don't have a problem with that but it's just easier to see like exactly what is in front of me so i'm gonna flip through all the pages of the book if it lets me I actually, it looks like the instructions in this book are way more detailed than the spider I just made, which that gives me a breath of fresh air, actually. kind of want to make the little mouse for this book, so I'm going to make um, the baby mouse because he just looks cute. But yeah, look. Look at the details of this book compared to the first one. I think I like the instructions in this book better. It still shows you how to lay the pegs, but it goes it goes step by step with you, which I like. Um so yeah, I like I like these instructions a lot better. But now, I don't know if I actually feel like making another thing. Um, now, it does give you, um, like, a little, um, Oh, this is the glossary, so it tells you the terms and stuff for looming, which is cute. I like that. Oh my gosh, guys. So, uh, I'm not going to lie, guys. Um, This book probably isn't worth the money, judging that these three people probably have a YouTube tutorial for these designs. So I've never heard of the first two people, but I've heard of Kate, DIY Mommy, and Elegant Fashion 360. Oh gosh, that is wild. And they're just like, hold on. There's acknowledged. Uh, I gotta read. Like, do they know? 
that they're in this book. I mean, I guess it looks... I wonder if they make money because their designs are in this book. Anyway, yeah, I'm not going to make anything from this book. Um, I can already tell that the instructions are literally 10 times better than the first book. They're way more detailed. Um, although the, the value of this book has gone down considering three of um, the contributors are have YouTube channels. So I'm not going to make anything from this book, but probably make a bracelet in our last book. So this is the last book um, that we've got to check out. Let me crack. Um, that's what it looks like. I'm sorry there is a glare because of my light, but there's a lot of white in here. Okay, so this one has um, a really nice showing of what bracelets are in this book um i like the photos of the bracelets and stuff it makes it easier to decide what i should make because the photo is right in front of me so that i like and then i'm gonna flip um through the pages Show you what it consists of, which is like just the bracelet instru. Oh gosh, I really like I like the instructions in this book too for the bracelets. Did y'all see those? Anyway, um, I I'm gonna make something from this book. I want to make this flower charm. I want to make this flower charm. Yeah. Sorry, her face is going to have a like a glare, but I want to make this. I'm going to make um the daisy one. So, I think that should be pretty simple. Right? I don't know. Is there another page for these? Yes, there is another page for these. Okay. So I'm going to do the daisy one. Um, pretty simple. It's just yellow and some white bands. Um, so sorry, we're at like, I'm going to do it um, like in the middle of my loom because the edge of, is this one band or two bands? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is single, this is single banded. I really like the photos though. Like these photos make it very easy to follow these instructions. And um, we'll look at um, like an actual bracelet to see how the instructions are as well. I don't, I'm not necessarily, I don't know if I'm following their band placement correctly, but um, Feel free to call me out if I'm not, because I'm probably not. Okay, and then we place um, our white bands. We, I don't believe we loop the white bands at all. Oops, I ought to... Okay, awesome. Okay. Trying to see how many times I should wrap. It doesn't want me to forget band 19. It doesn't tell me how many times I should wrap it around though. Although they only use one band, so I'm just 
I'm just going to wrap it around three times in the center. Three. Okay, now um, we're going to get looping. So it says turn your loom with the arrows facing down. Push your hook in to the middle peg and grab. I guess we're just grabbing the, the bands, right? I mean, what else would we be doing? So yeah, it does want them. Um, it does look like, what am I doing? Why am I not? What's, what's the issue? Did I place the bands wrong, guys? I don't know. Yeah, I looped the wrong band first actually how to loop this band I could it's hard to tell you know it's just hard to tell like yeah I gotta loop the band um closest to me first because that one is actually on top All right, let me read for our next step now. After you've finished looping the entire star, push your hook down into the bottom peg and grab the bottom yellow band. And we're going to do that all the way around town okay yeah so this looks like let's flip to the next page and now it wants me to um put my hook in here grab a band Well, I'm going to pull it off the loom first, so here's your little loom ASMR. And I'm going to pull a band through all of the loose bands on my hook. I'm not gonna. This is great, guys. It looks big. Let me pull out the white bands. That'll probably help. It. But yeah, that's what my little um flower charm looks like. It's um pretty accurate. <laughs> the instructions um. Or very clear to follow and I love that it um, includes more instructions for the two other colors that they have in the book which I really like that um, now I'm just gonna show you um, what the instructions look like for a brace like an actual bracelet so Okay, we'll look at the Starburst bracelet. Tells you the band count and everything over here. Got different color combos to do. I really like those this color combo. It's really pretty, actually. Here are here is it in the rainbow colors. Telling you like how to loop and everything. And then oh, here is here is more looping instruction. And it tell it shows you the loom, how they look with the different colors. I really like that it shows you how they look with um the different colors as well. Because that would that could really confuse um some kids if they use different colors. So I like that they show this. Let me see what else.
but yeah, the instructions in this bracelet, um, they're really good. I mean, the instructions in this bracelet, the instructions in this book are really nice for, um, beginners who like to make bracelets. Like, I like them a lot. So, I'm going to come back now with my final thoughts for you. And, um... Let me know what you think in the comments about these books. Uh, I'm really curious to know what you guys think. So I am back with my final thoughts and um, my little spider and my little flower charm. Um, you can probably tell in the book that my least favorite book is the loom magic creatures I don't like I don't like how it um, doesn't display the photos of the creations in the table of contents I don't like that at all it does have um, some detailed instructions though which I do like but just like not having the pictures in the table of contents really kind of um, makes me just not like this book because of that. I don't want to have to flip through every page to see like the creations and whatnot. So this is this book. I ranked this last, um, but you can definitely check it out for yourself. I will have all of these books linked in my Amazon storefront if you want to pick them up for yourself. So these are the two books that um, I liked the best. I liked um, this one because, because of this. It shows you all of the projects in this book and it makes it really simple to pick a project um, because it has the photos. And I really liked um, the instructions in this book as well. Um, they're pretty detailed, although I still I still messed I messed up the spider a little bit. Um, but it's still it's still a cute spider. I like the spider. And then this book is um, great for bracelets. The instructions are great if you don't if you don't have um like everyday access to YouTube or whatnot, I would definitely recommend the books. Um they're great. No no internet required. Although I don't know if you could actually find these books in an actual bookstore. So if you don't I don't if you don't have the internet, I don't know how you would actually be able to buy the book but um yeah this one I love the instructions for the bracelets and this one I'm pretty sure this book is only bracelets that's the only bad thing about this book but this was the cheapest book I think this book was like seven dollars and these the other two were like between like 12 and 14 dollars so I can't fault it because this one was really cheap versus the other two. But yeah, I like I like all three books. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, I'm seriously curious to see what you guys think. Um, and if you do, if you do like this video, please let me know. Um, I don't think there is like another YouTube video out there like this. So I was, I was pretty excited when I was like, oh, I have this like original idea, you know, to look at loom bracelets. So yeah, let me, got, let me know what you guys think and let me know if you will be picking up any of these books in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, please give me a like, comment below, subscribe. Be sure to follow my TikTok and Instagram. Be sure to check out my Etsy shop. 
and be sure to take a look at my Amazon storefront as well. I hope you enjoyed my video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!